Hello everyone, you might remember the Zapper for the NES as well as ROB the Robot. What about the Power Pad? Yes, we're going to be getting into the Power Pad today. We're going to be running it with none other than an Asho controller. I mean, you could use two DDR pads connected via USB and such, but uh, you could run the likes of Athletic World, Dance Aerobics, the Family Trainer uh, entourage of games, 10 of them in fact, which are uh, basically some of them came out in the United States as well. And imagine if you would have gone into like Hills, uh, Toys R Us, etc., and were able to get stadium events before they kind of like uh, bought the rights up to it. You would have been getting thousands of bucks. I, I believe it's worth like thousands of dollars right now. Yeah, so I have games which never made to the United States, such as Jog and Race, Metro, Daisu Khan, which is uh, interesting. It almost reminds me of like a 3D Goonies game. Uh, Manhattan Police, a.k.a. Street Cop. I'm just going to call it Maniac Cop because it reminds me of the horror movie series, Maniac Cop 1, 2, 3, etc. Uh, of course, we have Super Team Games, World Class Track Meet. Uh, I guess we'll start out with Street Cop right now. And this is going to go into the next release for all the mini classics. Mega Drive, SNES, NES, TurboGrafx-16, PlayStation Classic, Amiga 500 Mini. Uh, let's check this out right now. Uh, we can look at the various artworks for it. Okay, we're going to start the game. And I'm running completely on the controller right now, and I'm going to go into a tutorial on how to do it on the controller with the update as well. I mean, you're talking, you have 12 buttons. It's almost like using a Steel Battalion controller for the Xbox. Remember that? Oh, great. I remember that controller being just highly expensive. I even had, like, the Miracle Keyboard for the original Nintendo. Imagine having, like, even something like that as a Steel Battalion controller. Snatcher Joe, 10,000. Okay. And it shows the crime being committed, almost like a little bit of a spy versus spy style thing here. And then I go on screen, I gotta figure these controls out here. Uh, I'm running, I'm jumping, I can move up and use my baton, go up and down. Uh, the X on the screen, I believe, is where the enemies are. I gotta get used to this. Okay, uh, we have some items I can pick up. <laughs> now obviously I'm gonna be able to run a lot quicker using my fingers than I would my feet. Imagine doing this in real life, I mean. Uh, if you have a power pad, like, put one of them calorie counters on and see, like, or, like, uh, uh, pedometer type things where you see how many steps you take in a day. Even in my new job, I put one of those on and, uh, I found out I've been doing, like, uh, averaging five miles a day in my warehouse where I work. Okay, let's get one of these enemies out here. You can get various items per stage as well. And I remember going over one front house many, many years ago and them having the power pad. And I went to try it out, and it was just like the original rock band, basically. It's crazy. Okay. I have a feeling there's a... Uh, <laughs> which way did he go, George? Okay, let's go up here. Uh, okay, I think he's hiding right there. I'm going to tip the open here. Bam! Got him! Got he! More power-ups. We can also do the power-ups uh, and, like, toss them using this button. <laughs> We're not going to... It's like the original Grand Theft Auto. Okay, come on, we could do a uh, stage here. Let's take this other guy out. Very, very, you need concept. I love the way these games play out. There he is. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, got another one out. Give me another X here. X is a nose, right? Did you ever know the X is a nose thing here is actually the daughter of Rob Schneider? Remember him from the animal and all the other funny things? You can do it! I actually always, I liked always. Okay, uh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Reminds me of a Keystone Capers thing going on here. But yes, you'll be able to play this with the update, uh, be it with a real power pad with the right connections, DDR pads, and even a controller if you so choose to. Oh, I think he's hiding up there. Uh, where'd he go? <laughs> I think he's right here. Can I do this? I'm just gonna sneak up on it again. Yeah! And then the real enemy should come out anytime here. We'll try a few more games once we take the- Oh, the guy's right there, okay. You know what kind of game would be cool with this, like the original Friday 13th? Imagine playing that with a pad. And even a Jaws game. I mean, both of them games would have been absolutely hilarious with this. Oh, there's the guy. Ah, uh, is he hiding behind something here? Uh, I think he's hiding. <laughs> okay. I think he's hiding right here. There we go. I found him. <laughs> Go ahead. You're not getting away, dude. Ah, <laughs> oh, you. Snatcher Doe, done. Let's do what the next stage is like. 
I like the light uh, gun games as well. I'd love to be able to play the light gun games with a controller, but as of right now, you can only play them on like main drop three stream, etc. Here we're showing the crime here. And he came up and just punched me in the face here. Uh, okay. If you ever see that video where like uh, Mike Tyson's being at, you know, people are being asked about what they think of Mike Tyson, and then he literally comes out like right behind them. Uh, which way do I go? I think I have to go up here. I'm gonna go down. There we go. <laughs> Never mind, if you look at the little interface. Oh, I wonder if I could go into that little uh, pothole type thing. Let's see if I can get into that pothole. Get used to the controls there. Uh, can I fall right in that pit? Oh, yes, I can. Oh! <laughs> Itchy and scratchy, come on, dude. And that's starting to remind me of, like, the Nightmare on Elm Street game. So if you fall in the pit, you have to, it, like, E.T. crossed over with that type, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street game. Nightmare on Elm Street actually was, like, a four-player game, so it was kind of cool. Whoa! I'm expecting, like, a red balloon to be down here somewhere. <laughs> Can I get out of here? Remember, like, getting in uh, pits in E.T. and trying to figure out how to get out? <laughs> I think I can just go up here. Uh, let's try to get up. <laughs> oh, you can always uh, restart the game if you don't know how to get out of there like that. But I'm going to have to play the game more and get used to how to get out of the pits. But again, Maniac Cop style thing. Uh, let's try World Class Track Meet next. Uh, again, this is literally my first day ever playing these. I got it going earlier today, and I just wanted to try it out. Uh, we'll do the tournament here. It took me a little bit to get used to this. I kept feeling this when I first tried it because I wasn't sure how to do it. But on a guest on a real pad, you had to have both your feet planted on the mat before you started. Otherwise, it would be a false start. So I have to have both my feet planted down like this. Wait till the gunshot. And then I can use my fingers. And easily win. It's like the flash. Look, <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, uh, try doing that with your real feet. I mean, I, I could fail multiple times and I mean, it's funny. But this would be a great two player mode activate thing like track and field one. Track and field 2. Remember how fun track and field 2 was? I mean, you get a party of many people, just like a skate or die, etc. Okay, hurdles. And the jump, you have to let go of the button. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you have to you have to hold both buttons down where your feet your left and right foot would be in order to stay on the mat, and then when the gunshot goes off, you take off, and then you let go of both buttons at the same time to jump, and then you, it's crazy. So I got a prize. Let's see what other kind of games are in there. There are a few other events, too. It's my turn now. So I'm going from the turtle to the bear. Is this going to be like the Chinese calendar type of thing going on here? I wonder. Uh, okay, hold this down. I remember the NES Max uh, replay for NES where you could use it on like uh, track and field and just circle it. This is hilarious. Just like using your hands on a real mat. But yeah, if you try this on a real mat, I mean, you might remember like trying it and like doing it on like a linoleum floor and it's sliding all over the place. I mean, just the whole, the whole gist of trying to get that mat to stay in place. Okay, hurdles again. Okay. I got this. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> this is really cool for, like, you know, like, extreme games on PlayStation 1 having this type of thing. Almost like when you use, like, the power glove to play other games, like Top Gun and such. I mean, just try uh, using that power pad. I'm, I'm sure you could use the power pad in other games. Like, even, it would be funny, like, even on, like, Duck Hunt. Yeah, it looks like it's following the calendar here. I'm taking it. <laughs> this is gonna get harder. I'm sure it's like the, the red cards and like uh, RC Pro-Am where it becomes insanely hard and they zip around the whole stage and the only way to stop them is with a weapon. Oh, okay, not quite fast enough. Bye-bye. Oh, the horse is not fast enough. Am I going to be going against a tiger next? Let's see. <laughs> okay. And there are other events too, like a triple jump, a long jump. Uh, we might try one of those events. Okay. Hold the thing down. Definitely a cool, like, two-player style game. 
<laughs> Gotta get used to the jump. <laughs> okay. I'm doing so bad there. I'm gonna see what the next thing is, then I'm gonna go to like the uh, long jump or triple jump. But there are other games that are kind of cool too, like I said, that one reminds me of like a 3D Goonie style game, which I'm still getting used to. Also like Atari Midway's, uh, oh, Rabbit, okay. Maybe Rabbit then Tiger? I'm actually gonna push this like button, which will take me back. Or I can restart as well. Restart. And I'm gonna go down to the, we'll do the long jump this time. Uh, one player. Uh, we're gonna go to the right here and uh, do KM. There we go. And you have to hold your thing down, just like I said. Hold the button down. There we go. Oh! Oh, you're supposed to push the button before you land. Otherwise, you fall out. Let's try this again. I wonder if you could, like, have Crazy Turbo and land on top of the torch. That'd be funny. We got this. There we go. Hold the button right before you land. What is that? 11 feet. Okay. Okay, almost like pole vault in, in uh, track and field, okay? I'm ready. Can I be 12 feet? Ah, okay. Let's try a triple jump and see how it plays out. Okay. Again, you can usually push a slide to go to them, but we'll try a uh, triple jump here. You can do the Olympics as well, which would be all the events. Uh, I'll try a triple jump here. Uh, we'll do KM again. Some of these games are just absolutely hilarious to try out, but yeah. I mean, I actually knew somebody had a power pad. I never owned it myself, but if I would have known, I would have gone to the store and gotten, like, the, uh, stadium games before it got taken off the show. Oh, I could have done better. 17. Let's try this again. You gotta have this kind of, like, on your knee so you can do the button real fast. And Turbo's not going to cut it in a game like this, because you got to go back and forth. Oh, what a fail. The Phil Army. World Star. Okay, here we go. Okay, I got this. There we go. Not oh, I didn't land on the end. Oh, jeez. I knew I would have been like 20-something there. But yeah, if you have unlimited uh, meter and your engine doesn't overheat in a side pipe, you can literally jump off the screen. So I kind of wonder if you do some kind of crazy turbo finesse there where you have the ratio of turbo going like higher and lower on each of the buttons where you can just jump up and fly past that torch. But anyway, uh, we're going to go back to the menu here and uh, let's try one of these other games. And some of these games aren't going to run on FCMM. They're only going to work on Messing, which has more accuracy, uh, like this Metro Daisukan game. And uh, it's not going to run as fast, but I did what I could to get the core running a little bit faster, just so you can at least try this game. Still cool stuff. Kind of reminds me of like a Hudson Adventure Island style intro here. Okay. Start the game. Enter in the underground amazing route for the treasure. Floor 1 stage run. Interesting that it is in English, even though it's a Japan game. And some of these games are like that, okay? You can do the running thing like I did in the other game. But even when you get to the thing here, you can do like a little bit of a Zybots or Fantasy Star rotation. Let's try this. Uh, tap left, and I believe it's like, uh, my, uh, X button. <laughs> I gotta get used to this. There we go, we got a door. Is, uh, Friday 13 Jason gonna be behind her? Let's see and open it. Oh, no, what's behind the door? Uh, that doesn't look too <laughs> enticing. It's like a red balloon. <laughs> Come on. Oh, jeez. But yeah, I mean, this... Interesting, interesting, interesting thing. I like all these games. Like, even the Shining Forge game in the darkness, which is entirely in 3D. I like the Texas game, but obviously games like Fancy Star, etc. Can we back up here? I gotta get used to these controls here. Turn the wall. Here we go. Oh, jump over the spider. In the bats, all the fun stuff. I remember seeing, <laughs> I was like, I'm expecting to see like green signs like in my typical dungeon game. I need like a Mega Man 3D game here, Advent Misadventures of Tron Bone. <laughs> oh, you need your grab paper like in Go, uh, Go Go 13 Mafia Conspiracy. But yeah, Zyboss is like this with that rotary control. If you play like Zyboss in the main Tales and 3 stream, I have it where you could use L1 and R1 to actually rotate your controller. 
Uh, there's another door. What's behind this door? <laughs> I wonder if I could get weapons. But yeah, it definitely reminds me of like three stages to like Goonies. That could be next stage, stage two. Uh, what is that? I'm not even sure how to use the items, honestly. I mean, this is the second time I tested this one. Very, very interesting indeed. I'm not sure uh, how to use these items, but this is another game I'm going to be coming back to. Again, you'll see the list of games here. It, right there. Family Trainer 5, Mero Daisakusen. So it looks like a cool game there. Uh, what else do we have on our list that we want to try out? I tried this game out for a second, but I couldn't quite figure out how to get this going. Uh, we'll try it out for a moment, though. Like I said, I need to get used to the control schemes on some of these. Like, I actually had to look up the manuals for a couple of these games, like uh, World uh, Class Stadium, just to see what I even have to do. And Bandai is a fantastic company. I mean, everybody and their mother was trying to get on the bandwagon for these games. I mean, these might be different events here, but this looks like this is one of those uh, Full Metal Jacket Heartbreak Root style things here. Or like a uh, half ramp. Uh, without having the ramp. <laughs> okay, let's try this out. And, uh, unfortunately, if you try this on FCMM, the mapper isn't properly supported, so it just freezes on the dialogue, but I think I could actually do this. I couldn't quite figure out how to do that. I did, like, a half jump, but... And then you see this guy, he'll probably fill up the jump, too. See? So I'm not quite sure. So I don't want to look up a video, but I just want to figure out how to do this. I have a feeling you got to jump up there and run down. It kind of reminds me of, like, TNC surf design style thing going on there. But I tried that one out. Uh, see what else I did. Oh, show it order, explode. Let's try that out for a moment here. Imagine if you would have gotten one of these games from, like, your grandparents for Christmas, but you did not have the power pad. Kind of disappointed me because I got, like, uh, uh, Mad Dog McCree on my PS3, and it says you need to have the gun for it. And you couldn't play with the controller, which I would have loved, like, on Sega CD. But try to stop for a moment. Explode! But throughout history, all these games that had, like, interesting peripherals, like even the Virtual Boy, which you can, of course, play on the uh, Mini Classics as well. Okay, I gotta push the 9 on the keypad to start. Oh, what is all this jarring in? Uh, we'll try a challenge. Uh, is that up and, uh... Oh, I guess we'll do the story. And you can reprogram the controls for this, too. I'll have a little tutorial on that. Man, Mossberger, please take your time. Oh, this is weird. There's like a whack-a-mole stage as well. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do here. I guess you gotta push the buttons in a certain sequence to make the toppings come out, kind of like a memory mesh style thing.